Who wants to stand there with an audio with his teeth and say, I? No, no. And he's at the bar getting ready for it. Oh. Hey, Jerome. Um, no pressure, but everybody's looking at you. They're waiting on you. Oh, that's what that means. <laughs> But just so you know, parents are still here and they're watching. Hey, hey, son, just say no. O oh God, our Father, we thank you for this day and for this occasion. We're so grateful for your presence in this place and in this moment. We thank you for both Jerome and Kristen as they seek to begin their lives together. They are honoring you today, God, by asking you to bless their union. And we as their collective friendship circle, their family and the community of faith to testify that we need you to cover their lives and we need you to bless their union. Bless our time together today, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Jerome, will you have Kristen to be your lawfully wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, protect her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? I do. Kristen, will you have Jerome to be your lawfully wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, protect him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for him, as long as you both shall live. I do. And it is my privilege as an ambassador of Christ and a herald for the kingdom of God to pronounce you both husband and wife, and whom God blesses to be together, let no man seek to tear apart. Sir, you may salute your bride. Chris and I have been together seven years, and I've been coming to Smithfield at least two or three times a year. And I really, really got to know two very special people. Um, and so I put together a little something something. It's kind of a tribute um, to them. And when the angels came, they carried me home, carried me home. My fear fell away, and I followed my heart, followed my heart. When the angels came, they carried me home, carried me home. Oh, my fear fell away, and I followed my heart. This is 
a poem that grandma wrote to Pat before <laughs> before they got married, so I figure it works. My love for you just grows and grows until sometimes it seems that I am walking on a cloud and carried off in dreams. My love for you won't weaken or become old with the years. My love for you survives all trials, all heartaches, and all fears. It's just as though some magic thing keeps my love on its course. And even in the darkest hours, my love knows no remorse. My love for you will linger dear when other loves are done. For it is without limit and meant only for one. And when the time of life arrives, when we will have to part, my love will follow where you go, for with you goes my heart. So I have her permit. Have your permission. Yeah, I have my permission. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, we can. But this is special. It is special. She's the most giving and persistent person that I know. And um, I know there's nothing that she couldn't accomplish. We knew Bailey was a keeper. Huh? We went on a bonding trip to, to look at a venue for her birthday. And it just, it really felt so comfortable. And it was like having a brother. He's just, he's a, as big of a cornball as she is. And so I knew they were perfect for each other. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight to celebrate this celebration. Seven years is good. You have a lot more. I've known Jerome since I was about 16. You know, Kristen, it's been about seven years. Like a sister, Jerome's like a brother. Kristen, you call me whenever you need. Jerome, call me whenever you need. Just, I'm always going to be there. I didn't have a lot of time with Christian, but I know she's been around for seven years. And I know that anything he loves, I must love. And I say the same thing to them. Anything that they love, they should love between the both of them because family is important. They are the rock and the foundation of every one of our lives.